let me know in the comment section who do you guys think is going to win this fight this trilogy fight between Stipe Miosis versus uh, Daniel Cormier uh, now this this fight is exciting because you know the first fight it didn't last really long you know it was one of those fights where it looked pretty much even and then out of nowhere uh, Cormier was uh, just threw that overhand right and knocked down Stipe and then finished him off um, but you, you really didn't learn nothing in that first fight because it, it happened so fast. The fight didn't last that long. Uh, well, the one thing I did learn was the fact that Cormier was able to hurt Stipe and Cormier was landing his jabs. Like all that, that whole first round, he was landing his jabs. But the second fight was the fight that I found really interesting because the second fight in the very first round, Cormier brought down uh steep in meiosis and he dominated him on the ground like he had him on the ground for the majority of that round um he slammed it to them, he slammed him to the ground and at the end of that first round i thought to myself oh man if if cormier if daniel cormier keeps this up and keeps bringing uh steep in meiosis down like this he's gonna win this fight but then round two happens and something crazy happens uh, Cormier, instead of taking uh, Stipe Meiosis down again, because I thought he was going to do that. I thought, okay, he dropped him down so easily and he held him down the entire, pretty much the entire round. He's probably going to do this for the rest of the fight. But what surprised me was what Cormier elected to do was he elected to walk down Stipe, right? He started coming forward and he was being hella aggressive. He was standing up with Stipe. You could tell he wanted to knock out uh, Miles, uh, Steep in Miles says, I think he he wanted to make a statement to try and say like, listen, I'm a I'm a true heavyweight and I'm gonna knock out this big ass heavyweight. <laughs> but I also think that was the mistake he made. You know, he elected to uh, fight Stipe, and that's when Stipe started having more success. He started catching him. I still think that uh, Daniel Cormier was winning the fight. Uh, like I I, th I thought he he won round four. I mean, excuse me, I thought he he won round two, but that was a little bit closer because Stipe himself was catching Cormier with a bunch of his shots. Um, I think one of the mistakes uh, Cormier made was he, he was, he, to me, he, he, he was not showing respect to Stipe. I think he, he felt that he could take Stipe's punches because he definitely wasn't showing a lot of respect to him. And he was trying to like just walk him down. The third round came along once again. Uh, Cormier was being hella aggressive. They didn't attempt to take each other down. It was a very, uh, it was basically a, 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 a boxing match. They were coming in after each other. Cormier was catching him at times. Uh, Stipe was catching him on times. But then round four came along, and that was the round that changed everything because Stipe did something in that fourth round that started turning the tides towards to him. And that was, he started throwing body shots. Now, that was probably the best time to throw body shots because at this point Daniel Cormier was extremely ex exhausted you have to remember he was like for, for, for the for the last two rounds rounds two and three he was literally marching forward and being the aggressor you know he was trying to knock out uh, steep meiosis and he was exerting a lot of energy doing that and so by the time round four came at that point, he was already tired. So imagine you got a guy like Stipe, a big ass heavyweight like Stipe. All of a sudden, he starts throwing liver shots. This guy's throwing body shot after body. He kept throwing that left uh, hand to uh, Daniel Cormier's liver over and over out of nowhere. You know, the first three rounds he wasn't doing this, but he he that one tactic that he decided to do in that fourth round in my opinion, changed the outcome of this fight. Uh, because, again, I thought Daniel Cormier was winning up to that point. But that was the, the, the round where things started changing. It started looking like uh, DC was fading even more. And Daniel and uh, Stipe was bringing, bringing it on to him. He was throwing that body shot. It was slowing him. And then he, and then he finally catches him with a body shot that you could tell it hurt Daniel Cormier because he kind of bent over. And you could tell it hurt him like he bent over like he was in pain. And then he caught him with that one too. And once he caught him with that one too, uh, Daniel Cormier was all over the place. And then he jumped on him and he finished him off. And he, he you know, fell against the, the cage, the octagon. And uh, Stipe Miles let his hands go. The referee jumped and stopped it. And Stipe Miles regained his the heavyweight championship of the world, right? So that to me I find very interesting because... 
Will, I have a big feeling, steep in meiosis, or at least if he's smart, I think what he should do is he should go back to those liver shots because that those liver shots uh, did something to Cormier. It, like, gassed him out. It took away his energy, you know, because he was already tired. I think what Stipe should do in the third fight is don't wait till round four to do that. Do that from the opening bell. From the opening bell, go to, the, go to his body. Um, from the opening bell, go to his body and tire him out. Um, I think if I'm Daniel Cormier, I, I think I'm going to, I, if I'm Daniel Cormier, I would take down Stipe because in that, in the second fight, in that first round, he dominated Stipe Miles on the ground. He was dominating him on the ground. Um, I'm, I, that's why I was so surprised that he elected to just stand up and fight him toe to toe for the rest of the fight. But maybe he wanted to be entertained. I give, uh, can Daniel Cormier credit? He made the fight way more entertaining doing that because it probably would not be as entertaining if he would have just done that. But yeah, it definitely made it more entertaining. But I think he maybe he, he probably would have won because he would have never given Stevie uh, the chance to hit him to the body or to you know exchange with him had he had him down the entire fight. So if I'm Daniel Cormier, I am going back to taking down Stipe in this third fight and doing that for five rounds, even though it might not be the best thing, the most entertaining thing, I think that's his best bet in this fight uh, because I do think that when he elects to, you know, go after Stipe and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, although he could hit him and he does land and he's really accurate and he's, he, he throws a really good jab, that also gives Stipe an opportunity to, to land on him. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm Stipe, I'm throwing those body shots. I'm throwing those liver shots because those liver shots really paid off in that fourth round that that was like the that's what what changed everything it stopped uh daniel cormier in his tracks and it eventually led to the knockout when he got hurt from that last liver shot that steep eight landed that's when he that that one second that he was that he winced a bit and he bent over a bit because he was in pain that's when steep eight took advantage through that one two and caught him and that's what ended up resulting in him getting knocked out daniel cormier so I think he needs to invest in that body. I think somebody's going to get knocked out in this fight again. That's why I love this fight because somebody always gets knocked out in this fight. So I, I think those are the, I think, I just think that they both have to, if they want to win this fight, you have to also keep in mind, Daniel Cormier is the older guy. Um, so will father time catch up? You know, father time does catch up to these fighters. Um, that's another question, you know, will, will Daniel Cormier, Will age catch up to him overnight? You know, it might happen. Uh, but like I said, I think those are the things that these guys need to do. I think Daniel Cormier needs to go and take him down and dominate him on the ground with his wrestling. And I think Stipe needs to stay his distance, throw body shots, okay? Throw body shots. And the, the best thing to do for him is to use his striking, you know, because that's what got him the victory the last time they fought. So, yeah, that's what I have to say. Who do you guys think is going to win this fight? Let me know in the comment section of this video, guys. And I'm out. Peace.